displeased at President Trump's announcement that he would withdraw U.S. troops from Syria. Iraqi's prime minister says security officials from Baghdad met Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in Damascus, suggesting a bigger role for the Iraqis to fight ISIS militants. Meanwhile, Russian and Turkish leaders agreeing to maintain cooperation in northern Syria. The president, you know, surprised many when he suddenly made that announcement. Among them was Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. I might ask the president to do something President Obama would never do, reconsider. I'm going to ask him to sit down with his generals and reconsider how to do this. Slow this down, make sure that we get it right, make sure ISIS never comes back. Don't turn uh, Syria over to the Iranians, that's a nightmare uh, for Israel. And at the end of the day, if we lead the Kurds and abandon them and they get slaughtered, who's going to help you in the future? Well, the president uh, and the senator did sit down yesterday for lunch at the White House. And when he emerged, the senator suggested the president may be rethinking his plan. Trey Yank joins us live from Jerusalem with more on what could occur. Hi, Trey. Eric, last night, Senator Lindsey Graham tweeting that President Trump will make sure that any U.S. troop withdrawal from Syria will ensure first that ISIS is completely destroyed, Iran doesn't fill any sort of power vacuum in the region, and lastly, that the Kurds are protected. Now, the statement coming after a two-hour meeting between Trump and Graham, where the two reportedly reached an understanding of how the administration plans to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. President Trump tweeting a number of times about Syria today, starting by saying, quote, if anybody but Donald Trump did what I did in Syria, which was an ISIS-loaded mess when I became president, they would be a national hero. ISIS is mostly gone. We're slowly sending our troops back home to be with their families, while at the same time fighting ISIS remnants. Now, Eric, according to the United Nations, ISIS is not mostly destroyed. A report released by the organization just four months ago indicated that 20 to 30,000 ISIS fighters are still operating on the ground in both Iraq and Syria. Eric. And Trey, meanwhile, there's a lot of concern about the impact on a possible withdrawal for the Kurdish fighters in Syria, of course. Yes, Eric. As American troops prepare to leave Syria, the effects of the U.S. withdrawal are already being felt across the region. On Friday, we did see Russian-backed Syrian forces entering the northeastern city of Manbij at the invitation of YPG Kurdish fighters. While previously these two groups have fought bloody battles in Syria, the Kurds fear a massive Turkish military operation once U.S. troops leave the country. Residents of Manbij are now in a difficult position. They either face an invasion by the Turks or a takeover of Syria and government forces, both of which could lead to more violence in northern Syria. Eric? Certainly complicated. Trey, thank you.